Level 1. Beginner. Animals create energy by eating food which contains sugar which is broken down into glucose. But plants create their own glucose using sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. Some people believe that humans have this ability too but we lost it due to our increased addiction and dependency on food. These people went on to found a movement called breatharianism where they eat no food and instead aim to extract their energy from sunlight and the moisture in the air. The most experienced breatharians actually managed to create a new body for themselves which no longer relies on food, with the only side effect being death. Level 2. Middle School You're sitting in class one day and the teacher pulls up a massive image of someone's junk that's been chopped in half and asks you to name all the components. No, you're not dreaming, you've just started the reproduction module in biology, which means you'll be learning about the reproductive system, mating and Darwinian evolution. Charles Darwin discovered that animals that were dead were less likely to reproduce than animals that were alive. Which today seems pretty obvious, but back then it was groundbreaking. You're now starting to use microscopes to look at really small things, but for some reason when I used the microscope to try to look for my reproductive organ, I was kicked out of class for inappropriate behaviour, whatever that means. Level 3. High School You're sitting in class one day, waiting for your teacher who's late. Suddenly she hurries in carrying a large tray, smacks it down on the table, opens it up and there's a dead frog. Your teacher was late to class because she had to carry a dead frog down the corridor. Yet somehow, when I do the exact same thing, I get sent for psychiatric evaluation. Honestly, in school, it's just one rule for the teachers and another rule for everyone else. Anyway, on this level, names like Phosphorus are a little tricky to write out, so you end up just writing the first couple letters and then scribbling the rest. Fun fact, DNA and RNA are just acronyms for this, and ATP and ADP just stand for this. Also, biology tests are now actually hard because you're on that level where if you don't know an answer, you can't just put mitochondria as the powerhouse of the cell and call it a day. Level 4. Should have dropped out when you had the chance. You're sitting in a lecture and the professor is teaching you the Krebs cycle for the 50th time because you still don't understand it and you probably never will. Then he mentions you have an exam tomorrow. You thought you'd be safe from organic chemistry because you chose biology and not chemistry. Well, you're wrong. It's actually worth one third of your final grade. Your dissertation was due four weeks ago, but you're still doing it since you're on your fifth extension and you've been awake for the last 36 hours living solely off energy drinks. You know for a fact that in order to graduate, you're going to have to pull another all-nighter just to revise before your final exam, but unlike all the other students who can just ignore the health concerns, as a biology student, you know just how close you are to having a heart attack in your early 20s. Level 5. Postgrad slash researcher. Remember how you picked biology because you didn't really like maths and physics? Well now basically all you do is t-tests, chi-squared tests, bioinformatics, lab work with error bars, working with p-values and R scripts. Yes! So not only are you doing maths, but you're also doing the worst kind of maths. Statistics. You better hope that at the end of this you become a doctor and finally make your parents proud for once because the only alternative is becoming a public school minimum wage teacher and there's no in between. Level 6. Master. You're so good at biology that just by watching this video you've already diagnosed me with three different medical conditions, sussed out what I had for breakfast this morning and found out my blood type. If you're still in academia then you're probably a professor or worse a lecturer and if you can afford to pay rent then you're probably a doctor, so congratulations. But you'll still be working 12 or even 14 hour shifts but hey, six figure income am I right? Level 7. World class elite. Uh, uh, uh. Somehow you managed to invent some new biology and everybody went wow oh my god he's so cool and intelligent and you won a whole bunch of money and prizes. But with all that knowledge and expertise you still won't be able to answer this one simple question. My mom who gave birth to me is a woman and my wife is a woman. But if they're all women and also the boy who sits down with you and says I, I think I'm a girl actually is one then, then what is a woman? Mm. Great question. I'm not a woman, so I, I can't really answer that. Don't forget to become a channel member so you can feed the children that are tied up in my basement. And if you've got no money because you ended up becoming a biology teacher after all, then you can just hit the like button and piss off.